Hello, 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 and welcome to the Southern Bell NOLA channel. I'm your hostess, Southern Bell, and here we are with another premiere. Yay! I hope y'all think that these are super fun. I think that these are great fun just because I get to be in the chat with y'all, get to do my own modding. Also, we don't have to wait for those pesky countdowns. We can just show by, show by, show by, and keep the show on the road. But if for some reason you are not watching this live, you can still pick things, you can still order. Just make sure you message me in the comment section. Make sure you check that sold out list, which I have pinned to the top of the chat, so you can see which items already sold out, either during the live premiere or with people who messaged me after. Also, I want to let you know that you can combine anything and everything you buy during this auction with an entire week of auctions from me. Because not only do I have these fun Buy It Now premiere videos, but I have auctions at 7 p.m. on Friday and Saturday, Monday and Tuesday. And remember, Friday is $5 Friday. So if you like it when everything is reduced to $5, or sometimes I'll even group a bunch of items together for $5, Make sure you check out $5 Friday. And my Tuesday auction is the Viewer's Choice auction. So make sure you go to my YouTube community page and you vote in the poll. Whichever one of those winning themes wins is the one that I put together for y'all. So literally, it is a theme that y'all vote for and I put it into an auction and make it happen. Now, if you would, pretty please, before we get started, go ahead and click that thumbs up. That helps us ever so much with the YouTube algorithm and lets YouTube know that you approve of my content, approve of my channel, and that they should share it out. Also, you can click the share button and share it yourself on your YouTube community page, on your Facebook, your Instagram, all of your discords, including mine, uh, Snapchat, TikTok, and Twitter. Well, those of you who have seen this before know how it works. I bring out some kind of container that's either already empty or that I've emptied out. And sometimes they're new, sometimes they are antique. This is an old antique um, keeper for jewelry. You can see it is peeling on the side. But you know what is not peeling? Are these nice drawers. Look how nice these drawers still are. So even though this has a little peeling on the outside, it's going to be fine to keep stuff in. So we are going to go drawer by drawer by drawer. And my uh, moderator, Lisa, likes when I use these numbers. So I'm going to throw out some numbers here. Um, I do ask that you make sure to note which drawer and which number. And if you could actually give me a, a little... Um, word of description that will help too because sometimes there is still confusion so if it's an owl say it's an owl if it's a seahorse say it's a seahorse um, and we will go drawer by drawer by drawer now if you didn't see last week's video it was all keychains and you know keychains would have fit just fine in here but I think I'm going to start out with brooches. Now, I'm not sure I have enough brooches for this many drawers. So, spoiler alert, halfway through, I may have to swap to something else. Um, not really sure what I would swap to. Maybe bracelets, maybe rings, maybe necklaces. Ooh, maybe hair accessories. We'll just see as I'm filming this. So remember, these are all going to be buy it now, and um, who's ready to begin? 
I say laissez bon temps rouler. Let the good times roll. Roll in your life. Roll in your heart. Roll in your soul. Roll on and on and on. Here we go. Okay, number one brooch. And we're going to do these brooches at $5 unless otherwise stated. Look at these sweet little owls. They have blue eyes and the stones in their chest are paved. And I know that owls are not called lovebirds, but these look like lovebirds ever to me. What a great anniversary gift. Or maybe you think it looks like you and your sister. <laughs> so this owl brooch is going to be number one. Oh, it wants to slot. Okay, let me redo this. Okay, it's on a flat surface now, so it won't be sliding around. My apologies for that. Okay, do we have any cat lovers? Look at this pretty pin. Here's the back of it. And is that a cat's eye in the bottom? That kind of looks like a cat's eye to me. And look at that sweet face, gemstones for eyes, the whiskers, super cute. Next, if you liked that one, but you're more of a silver tone person, or you like neutrals, once again, look at that cat's eye stone, the beautiful texture of this cute cat. Here is the back of it. Okay, that will be number three. Okay, number four. Who likes dragonflies? Look at the shine and the sparkle on it. And it almost looks like a emerald in the middle. Let me show you the back. Here's the back. It's going to be number four. Oops, let me slide it over a little bit more for four. Okay, number five. Is this seahorse? Look at this sparkle. Not only does it sparkle with crystals, but these are what's called AB crystals. And AB is an abbreviation for Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis. And here's the back of it. Okay, that will be number five. Number six. is a different seahorse. This one has some pink tones to it, but still sparkly and gorgeous. There you go. Okay, I think we have room for a number seven. Let me get a number. Well, I couldn't find seven, but I found an eight. So we'll just say seven for another time. Here's number eight. Look at these beautiful tulips. And once again, all paved with stones. Here is the back of it. So this is going to be lovely with whatever you wear. So chic and so feminine. This will be number eight. Okay, let's see if we can do a second row here. Let me get a few numbers. Okay, the next one is going to be this cameo. Look how pretty it is. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm sorry, this is the one my sister wants. Sorry, cancel that. Boy, I wish I knew how to edit now. Sorry. Okay, 
instead I've got a men's brooch. You'll see it's got this little clip back. This is for the lapel of a suit or a tuxedo and it's got this wolf on it. It's going to be number nine. Okay, next, number 10 is going to be this great musical symbol. You'll see it's got a full staff with a treble clef and all of these music notes. Some are singles, some are doubles. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to turn it sideways for number 10. Let's see if I've got this. Oh, no, 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 it's sliding. Oh, rats. Okay, in other drawers, I may not necessarily try to make two rows. Okay, so let's look at some more now that crisis was averted. Okay, here is the next brooch. Just look at the cuts on those. Um, not a light ruby color, but a darker uh, garnet kind of color. And look at those beautiful crystals as well. Here is the back of the brooch. And it's so big, it's kind of eclipsing the number. Sorry about that, but that's number 11. Okay, here's the next one. Pretty faceted stones in blue. Look at the way the light just dances around in it. And look at the leaves. And here is the back of the brooch. So this one is going to be number 12. Okay, also in the blue family, but darker, kind of a London blue color. Once again, these are faceted. And this one's going to be number 13. I'm sorry that my numbers are kind of getting um, covered up by the brooches. Number 14 is going to be this beautiful ship's wheel right here. It's got gleam and glamour. Great for a man or woman that maybe served in the Navy that has a hobby of sailboating or boating in general. Maybe you just like the tropics, the islands, beach vacations, so pretty. Okay, this is going to be number 14. Oops, got a little bit low. There you can see it. Well, I think we are ready for another drawer. This next drawer, I may not necessarily make two rows because I don't want it to be too crowded. So this was the end of drawer number one. All of these that you see are $5. And make sure you click the thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click the subscribe button. Make sure that notifications are turned to all so that you can see when I have another live auction or when I upload another video like this. So let's get drawer number two. Okay, we are starting on drawer number two. Let's start with a butterfly. You've got some blush color at the top. You've got magenta at the bottom. You have A, B crystals, and this one is still new and sealed. So it's going to be number 15. Oops, 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 oops. And next one is also another one of those cute flying creations of majesty. And it's going to be number 16. Oh. I'm sorry. Okay, let me push these numbers down. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, should have tested this out first. All right, let me see if I... Okay, here we go. Boy, I said I wasn't going to try to fit too much in here, and boy, did I keep my promise. We've hardly got anything in this one. Okay, next. 
I've got a beautiful enameled butterfly. Look at those gorgeous colors. You've got yellows on the outside that work their way into oranges, into purples, and a little blush in the center. So that's going to be number 17. Get it in here. Okay, next I've got a fish. It's also enamel. Look at that little um, kissy face, pretty eye, some blues and greens on here. All right, let me see if I can sneak it on underneath here. Boy, when they're on the card, you just can't fit very many in. Okay, well, this is the very little bit that fit in drawer number two. Okay, to further help differentiate this drawer, I'm going to start at the biggest number and work backwards. And for those of y'all who are saying, wait, how is 31 the biggest number? Wait a second. Instead of printing these out on your computer and using up your ink, using up your paper, are you actually repurposing numbers on a calendar so that you get the most from those trees that gave their life? Yes, yes, yes. I am a reuse, recycle kind of person. So when you see my numbers, you will always see that they only go up to 21. And they were from a previous month of a calendar. Okay, so still at $5, look at this gorgeous butterfly. And it's got pearls, and you'll notice one of the really interesting thing about the pearls is it's what they call graduated, meaning the biggest one is at the top, and then as they swirl around, they get smaller. So that's going to be number 31. If you're saying, I really like that, but I don't have the guts to wear gold, I just want an understated silver. Do you have something like that? Here it is in silver. Next, for those who are saying, um, do you have something that's more butterfly and not so many pearls? Okay, here we go. This has way more butterflies on it. Just one pearl in the center. It's going to be number 29. Oh, no, don't tell me they're not going to fit. Okay, well, it's a little down there, 29. And number 28 is going to also be similar. It is three butterflies, but in the center, it's got a smaller pearl. So that's number 28. Okay, let's go to the other side of the drawer. Okay, next, do we have any hummingbird lovers? Look at the pavade crystals on this one. Look at the amazing wings. And if it looks like the wings are multidimensional, you will see there are even a few crystals in the wings. But this one is not just a brooch. Look at this one. It is also a pendant. It's got a nice big bail on it. And you'll notice the bail is built into the back. It was not an afterthought. It was a forethought. So lots of versatility here with it being both a pendant and a brooch. But if you're not really into pink, but you love hummingbirds, I thought this one was so pretty. I also got it in blue for y'all. So here's the blue. So when you say number 27, make sure you specify pink or blue. Next, here is such a gorgeous geometric design. And the stone in the center is Faceted. Look at the beautiful facets. It is open on the back so as to allow the light to pass through it. This one's going to be number 26. Let me put it this way. That way it tips towards the 
camera. Okay, next, um, I've got a scorpion. And once again, this would look great on a guy's a suit lapel or tux lapel. Also, to those of you who like um, neutrals, who are big and bold and daring, I think y'all can pull off a scorpion. After all, we've got some really powerful women out there. And everything doesn't have to be sweet and dainty. You can have some bold and powerful jewelry. In the, um, I think at the bottom, I can cram in this one. Look at this fabulous um, fan. It's like a swirl, and look how every stone is just beautifully set. So it's going to be down here. We're going to call it the bonus one. Oh, I shouldn't do that. I should put an actual number. Okay, here's a number 24. I don't know if y'all can see that. Number 24. So that one will be number 24. Okay, that is drawer three. Let's get out drawer four. Okay, as we start drawer four, make sure you've clicked the thumbs up. And if you've just tuned in, make sure you um, go ahead and um, like this video, save it, and you can go back and watch the part that you missed. If you missed the keychain video, you might want to see that. I also have Buy It Now videos for garden flags, for fun pens and pencils, for chocolates, and oh so much more. Okay, I've got this bold, scary lion, or maybe it's a lioness. Look at the beauty of the mane. So pretty. Okay, so this one is going to be number 23. Okay, number 24. Look at the sparkle on this. One of the previous ones, I said it's not a light ruby colored. It's a dark garnet. This is a light ruby colored. And look at the way the light passes through. Look at the faceting on this. It is Sparkle City, I tell you. Okay, next for my flower lovers, look at this sunflower with all of its rays of glory. So if you can't decide, gee, do I like silver? Do I like gold? Well, this has them both. Great for neutrals. And number 20, if we have any owl lovers out there, this has beautiful blue stones. And I'm not sure if this is rose gold or copper, but it is not regular gold. Let me show you the back. So it's either rose gold or copper. And it is the only rose gold or copper one I have and the stones are gorgeous. They just make the feathers pop. Oh, and I have one more. I don't know that I have room to put it. Let me see if I can squeeze it in. It's a sweet little cat one. Look at this sweet little cat. Okay, let me see. Can I squeeze it in here? No, can I squeeze No. Okay, well, if anybody is interested in the cat, I can't seem to squeeze it in. And this is the last drawer. Okay, it's just not going to happen. Oops, I messed this number up trying. Okay, I just had a great idea. I have these really pretty hair accessories. And I always say it's like a brooch for your hair. Um, they're on ponytail holders. See, they look like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a tray 
and grab some numbers and I'm going to show you what I have in these. These are only going to be two bucks. Okay, let me grab that just in a blink of an eye. Okay, here we go. Two dollars for choice. I've got this nice little tray. This first one um, has hearts around it. It's got some pearls and some bling. numbers. Okay, next one. These kind of look like rays of sunshine to me, and you'll see in the middle it has sparkle. That way y'all can see some of the subtle differences. Okay, this one on the outside has a scalloped design and has five in the center and a center one. That one will be number 13. Here's a whole cluster of pearls in the center and it has kind of an art deco type um, feeling with almost like comets on the outside. That one will be number 14. Number 15 will be this one that looks like little flowers and leaves. A center pearl with five around it. Number 16, once again, a uh, center of pearls and then little diamonds as a crown of glory around it. I think I'm going to make a second row and see if I can't maybe space these out. Let me do that real quick. Okay, hopefully I have set this up where it's a little neater now. Um, everything I do is spontaneous, so when it's not completely neat, I just have to stop and try to neaten it up um, because I'm just doing it all on the fly. Okay, at the next bottom row, we've got these that are shaped. This first one is heart-shaped. How pretty is that? Pave crystals with a pearl in the center. Next, I've got this with a pretty little flower. Super cute. Once again, a pearl and the pave the crystals. Okay, maybe you can see it better if I put it this direction. Oops, my numbers are just falling everywhere. Well, so help me. Okay, maybe I should move the camera. Is this better? Okay. Next, I have a butterfly, and the butterfly will be number 19, and last but not least for number 20, a cute little bow. This would especially be great for a teen, a tween, a little girl. So you have some that are super duper upscale that you could absolutely wear out to dinner, to church, to a formal event. You can even wear it to the Oscars because they have some of those sleek, high ponytails that are just done so elegantly. And this is the kind of thing that would hold it up. And also, let me show you the stretch and the elastic of these. These have a ton of stretch to them and they are really securely on here. So you don't have to worry about it falling off. I mean, you know, after hundreds of uses maybe. But I kept a set of these for me because I have long hair and I like it out of the way when I'm doing auctions or yard work. And these are just super pretty. Even when I'm not dressed to the nines, I still feel pretty in these. So these are just $2. I have multiples of most of these and um, if you would, click the thumbs up for me. Tell me what video you would like for me to do next. 
So I love filming these, and now that we're doing premieres with these, it is even more fun. So do you want to see more jewelry, like necklaces or bracelets? Do you want to see maybe more hair accessories? Or maybe you would prefer to see snacks or makeup or some kind of kitchen item. Let me know in the comments. Join me at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time for my auctions called Bargains by Bell on Friday and Saturday, Monday and Tuesday. And if you've never seen my Sunday premieres at noon, they are all $1 items. So thank you ever so much for watching. Thank you for your orders. And I say, laissez bon temps rouler. Let the good times roll. Roll in your life. Roll in your heart. Roll in your soul. Roll on and on and on. May God bless you. Bye-bye.